Welcome to this VBA Fundamentals course. I'm Seb Taylor and I lead the Business Intelligence team here at CFI. VBA is best known as a way of automating repetitive tasks in Microsoft Excel, but it's also capable of streamlining complex calculations. VBA was developed by Microsoft, and so if you already know your way around Excel, it's also a great way to learn coding in a familiar environment. In this course, we'll be using a case study of a multinational company operating and reporting in several currencies. We'll be using VBA to build a custom formula, allowing us to convert monetary amounts between currencies. Then we'll be using automation to retrieve exchange rate assumptions from a central file each time the model is opened. As we go through these applied examples, you'll learn all the basic VBA techniques from variables to arrays and loops. I'll also be showing you how to avoid common errors and mistakes. With well-structured chapters, starting with simple examples, you'll have plenty of chance to practice your skills and test your knowledge in our end of course assessment. After completing this course, you'll be armed with a powerful foundational knowledge of programming. This will give you the skills to build more complex models or to learn more advanced programming languages. The course is split into several chapters to help structure your learning. The introduction will look at why you might want to use VBA and what it can help you achieve. We'll also introduce the coding scenario that we'll be using throughout the course. Then we'll look at custom formulas. These allow you to expand Excel's native abilities with countless possibilities for your calculations. Errors and exceptions form an important part of coding, so you'll learn how to identify and manage those effectively. You'll learn how to publish your formula so that you can share it with your team. You'll be using workbook events and automation to automatically give reminders and get data from other files. And finally, you'll be using arrays to source a whole table of data from another workbook before looping through each row to capture any errors. Introduction. For many of us, Excel has become a must-have tool in our day-to-day -day work. It's a powerful environment that's well-suited to handling and manipulating data in a quantitative context. Excel's formulas such as SUM, VLOOKUP, and SUM product give us the power to do complex calculations. But what if those formulas don't quite do what we want? This is where VBA can help us by allowing us to build custom functions that behave just like regular formulas. VBA can also help us automate repetitive tasks and save us many, many hours of time. Whilst there are more advanced languages you can learn, VBA serves as a great first step for users who are comfortable in the Excel environment. In this course, you'll be working for Floor 56 Construction, a construction company who build residential skyscrapers and who operate in US dollars. You have suppliers in Europe, the UK and Canada, and often receive data or documents in their respective currencies. In addition, your parent company is based in Switzerland and often ask to see reports in Swiss francs or euros. We'll be working through two exercises to help you and your colleagues work more effectively with this ever-changing foreign exchange data. Let's quickly recap Forex rates before we begin our first custom formula. Currency pairs are usually expressed like this. In this example, the rate tells us the value of one euro in US dollars. Depending on the currency pair rates being expressed, convention dictates which way round that currency pair is displayed. For the purposes of consistency in our model, we're always going to express our rates with the US dollar on the right hand side. This means both CAD and CHF exchange rates will be reversed. It's worth noting that this doesn't change the actual exchange rate, it just changes the way we express it. Continue learning. Join CFI today.